Man, we have another horror icon right here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is OCD Mirror Reviews. My name is Onda Brinker, and today I'm going to review the latest horror thriller film, Megan. This movie is directed by Jared Johnstone and stars Alison Williams, Violet McCrow, Ronnie Chung, and also Megan, that is body by Arnie Donald and it's voiced by Jenna Davis. When Gemma, played by Alison Williams, suddenly becomes the caretaker of her orphan eight year old niece, Katie. Gemma's unsure and unprepared to be a parent. Under intense pressure at work, Gemma decides to pair her Megan prototype with Katie in an attempt to resolve both problems, a decision that will have unimaginable consequences. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here with Megan. I was not anticipating for this film. I honestly think this movie is going to be one of the worst movies of the year because of how the trailer was marketed. It looks like a Chucky ripoff. It looks cringy as hell from the trailers, especially for this scene here. I'm like, yeah, this movie is going to be the worst movie of the year. I'm sure of it. But after I saw Megan, it shows that I'm unsure of it. Because, man, talking about a surprise of the year. I love movies that absolutely surprise me. From movies that I'm not anticipated for, but it turns out better than I thought it's going to be. And Megan is absolutely a bright example of that. The performances of the film, really well done in the film. Alison Williams, I like this actress. This is her better performance. I thought she does a really good job in this film as this person that cares more about work than her personal life, and you really feel for Alison Williams in the movie, especially in the situation where she has to take care of her niece, which her parents passed away in a car accident. So, you really feel that balance between work and her, like you really feel the pressure in Alison Williams' character, and I thought she does a really good performance in the film. Also, Violet McCrow plays a niece in the film, and my god, child acting is starting to get better and better and better with some Blumhouse movies, because she actually does a really good job in this film also. Another kid actor that I don't find annoying, which is definitely a thumbs up. I thought she does a really good performance in this film. But I think that actually stands out in this film is the chemistry between Alison Williams and Violet McCrow. I like them two together. They form the very realistic type chemistry with each other. Like Alison Williams, she's not a perfect person. Like, of course, she cares more about work and she doesn't know how to parent a kid. So you really feel this chemistry going in this film and I thought they have a really good chemistry with each other and you can really feel for Violet McCrow's like, you know, emotions. You really feel her in this situation where her parents died and now she's living in a new home. You really feel for her in this film. But of course, let's talk about the standout in Megan and it's of course, Megan, the doll, the killer doll. Man, we have another horror icon right here. I thought Megan is really cool in this film. The features that Megan has in the film is really interesting in this film. And of course, the actors who portrayed Megan, I thought they did a great job performing her in the film. It shows that she's not CGI, she's very practical in the film. You really feel like it's a real life robot that could be created today. And I just thought Megan is a very menacing horror icon. There are so many moments where I honestly feel very scared for her. So they got that down. They got the main horror icon to stand out in the movie. So Megan is awesome for that. But here's the thing that I noticed throughout Megan, what I love the most about this film. It tells us of how technology can affect people. You know, parents can feel related to this movie, seeing their kids, you know, playing on their iPhones and stuff, and not paying too much attention to them. And this movie kind of shows a bright example of that, like showing a bright example that technology can also affect people. And I thought Megan portrays that aspect really, really well. This movie, I wouldn't say it's a horror movie, it's more of a thriller, but there are elements of the film where I did jump. Megan does a good job with some scares in the film, and some of the scares in the movie are actually really cleverly well done. It is filmed very well, the tension is there, and that's what I love about Megan. It's tension-filled, fun film. Like, it felt like a horror summer film, really. It's an entertaining blockbuster, and I thought Megan betrays all that very, very well. But yeah, this movie has some issues. Like, I think this movie is not for everybody, per se. There are moments in this film where... I know there's going to be some people that find these moments very, very cringy. It's one of the features that Megan does in the film, where I'm not going to spoil it, but I remember this one scene with Megan, what she does in the film, 
Everyone in the theater was like roaring up laughing, including me and my friend watching this film. There are moments that you have to know what type of movie this is. It gets a bit cringy at a couple of scenes, but in a, it shows how different Megan is. It's very unique with that in a way. But I would say the third act was a little bit too predictable. From the first two acts of the film, it was really well done and it's entertaining as hell and it's also a really good emotionally driven film. But the ending, yeah, it goes very predictable to the ending where it does feel very familiar when you're watching it. But it also gets very, very predictable where I'm like, okay, this movie's just turning a little bit too silly, but also fun at the same time. Like, it doesn't affect the entertainment value of this film. But, yeah, it does go a little bit silly at a couple of moments. But, man, this is one of those movies that absolutely surprised me. I had not too much anticipation for this film. And then I watched this film, walking out, I was actually smiling. I had a fun time with Megan. This is a fun horror movie that could come out in the summer, like it should have came out in the summer. Megan, new horror icon right here. I thought Megan is really cool in the film. The performances by Alison Williams and Violet McCrory, I thought they did a great job in the film. Even the other actors in the background of the film did a great job in the film also. This film is a fun thriller, it's an entertaining film. There are some cringe moments in this film, but that's what makes this movie kind of special to me. So yeah, I recommend you guys check out Megan. This movie is definitely going to be my surprise list for this year because I'm going to give Megan a B. So guys, that is my review for Megan. Let me know what you think of this film in the comments below. And let me ask you a question. After this movie, do you want to see a Chucky vs. Megan movie? Let me know down in the comments below because honestly, I'll be interested in seeing that. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Startups, Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd. Keep contacting with me. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and I fight for my latest movie reviews and other movie related content. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have a nice day.